to Coast Live, I doubt you need to hear it from me, but paying for school is not easy. But the good news is that there are a lot of opportunities for assistance, including Bayport Credit, Uni credit Unions scholarships and grants. That's what we're talking about today. I'm joined now by Belinda Abogaji. Sorry, Abogaji? Yeah, Abogaji. you got it. There it is. Thank you so much. I practiced it literally four times, and I still messed it up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us this morning, Belinda. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's great to see you. And I, I want to talk about exactly what you guys do to help students here in Hampton Roads, because you do it different than other people. Yes. Uh, can you tell us about what makes this scholarship program unique? So first and foremost, we have 11 different scholarships um, mm -hmm. that run from the beginning of the year till March 31st. And it's not only for high school seniors like a lot of scholarships do, but this is for students of all ages. So college students and working professionals looking to go back to school that's a scholarship for you. That is huge. Yeah, and I just want to underline that because so many yeah. people do want to restart their education. Mm -hmm. There are so many circumstances in life that can prevent you from doing that. Yeah. And you guys are providing that access point for people to get back into school and start learning again. I think that's lovely. Yeah. Um, and, and why did you guys decide to start offering these scholarships? So um, as a way of giving back to our community, because we are committed to doing that, investing back in the community, we figured, you know, this is the best way to do that because it's costly to go back to school, especially for people trying to achieve their academic goals and career goals. So offering these scholarships to not only colleges and university, but also to trade and vocational schools is a big thing because that's another way to give back to the community as well. Yes, and again, I, mean, I really want to make sure that our viewers understand that, that the trade and vocational schools, that's huge. And that's yeah. the backbone of our workers' economy here in Hampton Roads. Uh, yes. And, and you're providing an opportunity to people who uh, otherwise, I mean, it can be really, really tough if you want to get yeah. into trade school and get your certifications, mm -hmm. right? Uh, how long have you guys been doing that? So we've been offering scholarships since 1961. Wow. So it's been a long time. We've given over a million dollars so far. Wow. And each year we give out $100,000 in scholarships. And you did mention the trade and vocational uh, careers being the backbone of our community, yeah. which is very true. Um, Bayport actually has a long and rich history with Newport New Shipbuilding. That's how we actually started. Wow. And also with the apprentice school. And so that's a very good way to, you know, invest back in careers as such, you know, trade and vocational careers. That is yeah. tremendous because yeah, it's so much more than just four-year universities. And unfortunately, that's what a lot of folks think of when they think about schooling school. after high school. Exactly. Uh, you also have a recent partnership with Virginia Peninsula Community College and that started last year? Is that yes. Right? So last year we partnered with VPCC um, to introduce two new scholarships. We have the McGee Family Scholarship, which is for VPCC college, uh, students attending the LE Childhood Development Program. And then also for VPCC graduates, that's for um, the Donald Step um, um, Scholarship. Mm -hmm. And that gives you, you know, opportunity to further your education in a four-year college or, or, you know, to get your bachelor's degree in a university. And that's great. And so again, this is the second year that you've been partnered with them. Yes. And that's very cool that you're looking for new ways to expand and, and offer these opportunities to even more folks who are mm -hmm. looking to learn here in Hampton Roads. Um, for folks that are watching right now and they're interested in this, is there a place where they can go online for more information? Yes. On our website, bayportcu.org, and just find a foundation page because we have a Bayport Foundation. And um, scholarships are open till March 31st. And again, you have, uh, this net is cast wider than a lot of other nets when it comes to uh, scholarships here. So this opportunity is available to a lot of folks. If you're interested, I would really encourage you to go look for more information, see if you qualify and apply. Um, and, and I wanna ask one more thing, you know, when it comes to education, the barrier of entry being the, the cost is, is so great. And Bayport's been doing this since 1961. Is it a gratifying feeling for you guys to be able to offer these opportunities? Yes, definitely. You did mention that it is costly to go back to school. Yeah. And also, we find out that a lot of these scholarships, even when they do offer it, is academic based. The good thing about our scholarship is that it's both academic and need based. Mm. So you don't have to be too, too smart to qualify <laughs> for a scholarship. There's a scholarship for everyone, and I mean that in the nicest way no, possible. I love you know, that. Oh, Listen, ages, as yeah. someone who struggled <laughs> in college, like it, not having that hanging over my head would have been a huge thing. Yeah, so that's really great. Thank you for all the work you do in the community. Thank you so much. Absolutely. And tell us that website one more time bayportcu.org. There you go. Yep. Thank you so much for joining us, Belinda. It's Thank been you great for having me. Yes, ma'am. Yeah.